Hey, all right, I just want to make a quick video. Sorry about the reflection on the table. Uh, just want to make a quick video. Um, I saw on YouTube where a uh, guy made a video. He's a, a BMW uh, specialist. And he made a video stating that if you, uh, if you lost your key to your BMW, by the way, I have a 2004 E46. And if you lose your key to your BMW, all you have to do is get a replacement. Um, this, I think this is called a DMI or DME uh, computer and this EWS uh, computer that's right under your dash, under the steering column. And the ignition switch, uh, which is here, you know, if you uh, get these three things from a donor vehicle, and you swap them out, you know, you should be able to start your vehicle. The problem with that is um, that usually if you've lost your key, in order to make that switch, you're going to have to have to, <clears throat> excuse me, you're going to have to uh, turn your ignition switch to a certain position in order to get this out because this will not come out. You know, unless you do that. So, um, unfortunately, you know, it's 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 a little bit pointless because if you have your key, then you don't need to switch these things. And if you don't have your key, then you can't switch them. So um, I watched this video and I ended up getting some replacement parts that are already on my car now because uh, I was able to get a valet key from the dealer for you know about 60 bucks as you can see here camera focuses in there okay so i went to uh my local bmw dealer and i ordered a uh, valet key you know which looks like this little plastic thing but it does have the transponder chip in it which is right there and uh I was actually able to, sorry, I'm trying to hold the camera. I was actually able to, let's get rid of that. And I was actually able to get a valet key, which looks like that. And then, you know, thus you turn it to a certain position and then, you know, you insert your little pin right there. And then the whole ignition slides out. So uh, I was able to make the swap and in doing that, I was able to get uh, this key, which came with the other parts that I bought that are actually on the car. So what you're looking at now are, these are my three original parts, okay? Uh, however, what I would suggest is, if you do that, if you get these parts from a donor car, make sure you get the VIN number off that car because if you ever lose the key, and you give them the VIN number to your car, the key that they make is not gonna match. You know, you'll go and get one of these and it won't match, okay? So anyway, just a quick video, let you know that um, you know these things will work, but if you don't have something to turn that ignition to slide that lock cylinder out, these things are pointless. They won't do you any good, okay? And uh, if you ever lose your key, don't go to a locksmith, you know, for your BMW E46, 3 Series or whatever. Uh, go to the dealer. Uh, you know, you don't want to call a locksmith is what I mean. Go to the dealer. They'll make this for you. It comes back overnight and uh, you'll be able to start your car and move it. And um, that's it. All right. Thanks.